if you're new to fasting or maybe you've tried it before but you're struggling to see results, honestly, I'm not surprised. There is so much mixed information trying to sell you something. Fasting Tube is independent and focusing on real information. Let's get started with today's video. The question, is intermittent fasting good for those with hypothyroidism? Short answer, I have hypothyroidism, and I guess the answer for me is yes. I recently started seeing a new endocrinologist and without knowing my history with fasting, she asked if I'd heard of it. Longer answer, I also suspect that since a lot of cases of hypothyroid are autoimmune disorders, many of them will be greatly helped by fasting for the same reason a ketogenic and, or paleo diet will help by driving insulin down, and thereby driving down excess inflammation. If it's not autoimmune, you may still need thyroid replacement but the fasting will still help simply because all your hormones will normalize. I will also distinguish between if, which really just comes down to limiting your daily eating times back to a reasonable level, and f, extended fasting, more than 24 hours generally. That could mean alternate days, all the way up, to several weeks. The longest recorded modern fast was 382 days without harm. So it's possible, with or without a known condition, like hypothyroid, to do F very poorly, but I don't think it's worse for those with hypothyroid. I think having something like hypothyroid has helped keep me in tune with my body, at least when it comes to pain and discomfort, but fasting, F in particular, has helped me get in tune with my positive and negative body signals and helped me get out of my own head and is helping me learn to be more aware and present in my daily life. I've had to be careful under times of extreme stress and not do as much extended fasting, and maybe having hypothyroidism makes me more vulnerable to that. I think because it increases cortisol in the short term, if you're already overloaded with cortisol, it can make it harder to recover from the stress. I just came out of a period like that and I'm currently recovering some balance there and plan on resuming up soon. The best thing I can recommend is reading the complete guide to fasting, heal your body through intermittent, alternate day, and extended fasting by Dr. Jason Fung and Jimmy Moore. For more answers, or a full guideline on fasting, check out the links in the description below.